So talk out your process of like, how did you measure your value based off dollars? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Thank you for that. So at first I was like, oh, $50. It's cheap. People can pay me $50. That's nothing. It's extra money. I'm going to be honest with you, Nikki. I was like, just give me $50. And then I just started charging $50. And this is when I said, okay, I got to change. I talked to my uh, mentor, Mr. Thomas. And that man said, how much you make an hour at your job? And I was like, uh, maybe like, I couldn't remember the price, like $25 or something like that. Mm-hmm. He's like, okay, did you quit your job? And I was like, no. He's like, okay, were well, you not worth more than what your job is paying you? How dare you charge me more than what you're willing to accept from a company? So to me, you should charge whatever they paying you. If your wow. job paying you $100, you're going to charge me $100 an hour, but you're accepting 10 I was like, I ain't ready for this wisdom. I'm going to just go ahead and reject this real quick. Uh, so, okay. I was saying, let me, let me look at what the industry standard is. And I was like, okay, the industry standard is, I believe, is $10 for every uh, 1000 I can't remember. It's like 10 to $12 for every 1000 like something like that. But these are black restaurants. So, like, right now, I could probably charge a white restaurant I can't charge a black restaurant that because they don't even understand marketing budgets. They don't even understand that two to two to five, 10 percent of your budget should be marketing and then two to five percent should be digital marketing. They don't even understand that component. So wait, wait, wait. how, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like, you didn't just say what you just said. Bring that back. I Rewind. need somebody to write that down. I Rewind. need somebody to write that down. Black say that back. Black businesses do not understand. And this is according to an article I had saw at the time, I believe 2019 or 2020. Black businesses, 10% of your budget should go towards the marketing. Two to 5% should be towards digital marketing. And I'm pretty sure this number is higher now. So then I said to myself, Man, I can't charge them what white foodies is charging. Because white foodies to go to a restaurant and get paid $800 just for one picture. I said, man, me trying to explain that to a restaurant, I'm going to stress myself out even explaining that. So then I said, I want to be able to do this at an affordable price. So I was like, I'm going to just charge $50. And then I remember my uh, food coach at the time was like, you should charge about $50, $75 per post. And then you could do it for $250 a month. And then as I started to grow my following, I was like, I will change every like maybe 25, then 50. And then that's when I started to develop a price. But I did undervalue myself, Nikki, because you'd be like, man, do restaurants really want to pay? Are they really going to do it? But then this when I started to do some numbers. I said, hold on. If I charge these dudes $100 and I post this and 30 people just came and, and the meal is $20, that's $600, but I only charge them 100 and they just came up five. And then let's say if they at least get a 50% retention rate, then that means they're going to get 300. And that's off them giving me 100. They just made potentially a thousand, nine hundred thousand dollars in a month off my 100. Heck, you know, I have to start. I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. So that's when, like, now I tell them my price. If they be like, that's too much, I'm like, okay. I, I don't care no more because I know the value and the experience that my platform brings. But I do feel like in the beginning, if you have value for real, don't devalue yourself because you need some money because people don't respect what you discount. They will not respect. You know what I'm saying? First of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. (laughs) Say that one more time. (laughs) People do not respect what you discount. Like um, there was a concept that I was watching. um, What's the dude who do the angry bar? What's his name? Uh, Bar remake. The guy, whatever his name is. I heard him say something and it it stuck with me. He said, people don't get addicted to free. People get addicted to discounts. Because if I'm used, if if, if Nikki charges $50,000 to speak, but she gives me a discount for 20, I'm never going to want to pay 50 because I just got her for 20. And I think once we experience something at a deal, we never want to pay the full value. 
because we've experienced something at a discounted price. So why now should I charge something at a higher price? You got to always remember if you take that higher price, if you do that, you got to expect people not to buy because they'd be like, well, if these wings were six dollars on Monday, now you're telling me they're 13. Well, I'm, I'll just wait till Monday. Wow. Wow. 